Hello gorgeous peeps, it's Chris from Techspert and I'm here with a brand new smartwatch, hooray! In this case the Matrix Power Watch X, powered by you. So the gimmick of this Power Watch X is the fact that it does not require charging, unlike standard smartwatches which need charging basically every three or four minutes. As you can see here, instead it's powered by your body heat, sexy. So what we're going to do now is get it uh, fully unboxed, set up and check it out and see exactly what you can expect if you decide to stump up the cash for the Power Watch X. So let's just prize open this here box and there it is there in all of its glory. Quite a nice box, as you can see, like a presentation case almost. You've got a little bit of blurb about the Power Watch. As you see there, it's signed by uh, Akram and Douglas, the co-founders. Looks like, like Akram and Douglas have very similar signatures. How suspicious. So let's just pull it on out of this tray. It's very, very cold from the... Uh, a good bit of international postage travel. There we go. As you can see, quite a chunky monkey, the old Power Watch, just like the original version of it as well. This is actually the sequel, the Power Watch X. Just chuck that aside for the moment and let's check out what's in the rest of the box. We obviously won't get a charger because it is powered by your body. What you do get is a lovely cleaning cloth so you can give it a bit of a buffing. Great stuff. Well, this does actually look like a charger. Yes, this is a charger here. Uh, so as you can see, it's actually got a bit of micro USB connectivity. Let's have a look in the manual stuff. Here we go, thermal recharge. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's a thermal wireless charger to kickstart the watch from a fully discharged state. Um, so it's the watch that uh, that never needs charging except for when it does. And then the rest of this just shows you exactly how to get it all set up. As you can see, a uh, nice basic functionality. It's got three buttons uh, down here on the right edge. Top one is a mode button to uh, switch between different features, I'm guessing. You've got a scroll knob for getting through your menus and a set button down beneath that. It doesn't actually have any touch screen controls unfortunately so you're limited to just using those buttons and the little switchy knob thing. The instructions even give you a handy little guide on how fast you can expect the Powerwatch X to charge. So as you can see if you're sitting you need to be sitting in quite cool conditions for it actually to power up otherwise walking and running you're generally all right. So probably best to have this watch if you are quite active if you're just going to be sitting on your ass doing Netflix all day, then probably not so handy. Now, it is a 50 millimeter case, hence it is rather, rather large. Um, I've generally got quite spindly wrists, so I get the feeling this might look a little bit ridiculous on me. Yeah, that is definitely a bit of a beast. Um, <laughs> I think probably if you're built like The Rock or Jason Statham, you'll be all right. Um, if you're a pathetic little weedy northern fella like me, uh, maybe you want to be something, get something a little bit more slender, a bit more petite. It's definitely got a nice rugged feel though, if you do lead an active lifestyle and this should do the job nicely and it's uh, fully water resistant as well, up to 200 metres. So even if you're doing a bit of scuba diving, you should be absolutely fine. Right, so the Powerwatch X is turned on, as you can see there, just press set to get started. So let's do that. So quick tap of that and now it says pairing. So what we need to do actually right now is to download the Powerwatch app onto your smartphone. You can get this app for either iOS or Android, I'm just going to download it onto my iPhone. Uh, it doesn't seem to have got the best reviews, but only seven reviews so far, so uh, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. And once that's installed, just give it a quick tap. As you see, you can log in with your Facebook account or just sign up for an account. So I'm just going to sign up. I'm going to agree to the million billion terms and conditions. And with that done, just got to answer a few fun questions. 18, I wish. Uh, honestly, have absolutely no idea. I think a little bit less than that. Uh, we've got the Power Watch. Oh, Black Ops. Power Watch X, there we go. Done. And as you can see there, it's all nicely paired. Quick and easy. Okay, so it looks like uh, the actual app itself is pretty straightforward. You've got your dashboard, which just shows you exactly what distance you've covered, uh, if you've managed to get any sleep, uh, and how many calories you've burned. And you can sort of chart your progress over time and everything. And it looks like you can uh, pair up with some friends as well and sort of challenge each other. Currently ranked 17,179th, so I'm guessing that's how many other power watches are out and about in the wild at the moment. You can of course change your activity goals and everything as well. 15,000 steps is the uh, the default. Uh, let's let's edit that. Let's let's temper our expectations a bit. Uh, let's get that down to 8,000. Probably a bit more my standard. Uh, six miles distance a day. Who, I mean, do they not expect people to have jobs? Or maybe they think that your job is literally just walking from one point to another. But as you can see, generally quite basic compared with the likes of Fitbit, Fossil, uh, their apps, which do a lot of tracking. But then the Power Watch itself is 
uh, quite basic compared to a lot of fitness trackers as well. Uh, so for instance, there's no heart rate monitor in there, so it can't measure your pulse at any point. There's no built-in GPS support either, and I don't even think it can do tethered GPS. Uh, and there's not even any NFC, so you can't do uh, wireless payments with it either. If you actually explore the watch itself in a bit more detail, as you can see there, it is a monochrome screen, full black and white, uh, not colour to obviously save on uh, the energy. It does actually tell you there on the screen your uh, current skin temperature, so you'll know exactly how fast uh, the Power Watch X will be charging. And I think these little bars around the outside there, they actually show you how fully charged the smartwatch is as well. A nice bit of finer detail in on the watch itself, if you can sort of get over the general chunkiness of it all. It definitely looks like an active outdoor smartwatch built for a bit of a rugged lifestyle. Feels pretty comfortable though, it's obviously got a bit of heft to it, so you definitely know that it's on your wrist. The rubbery strap uh, seems pretty comfortable to wear. If you actually want to skip through the various functions, it's just uh, a quick tap of the mode here. So as you can see there, daily activity, it tells you exactly how much distance you've covered calories burned so you don't have to refer to the app. Uh, you can tap into running mode as well, that's just ready for a bit of uh, pound in the pavement. So you see there, press set to start. You can pause it at any point and then resume and it'll just uh, time your uh, effort and of course measure your distance covered at the same time. Next mode is a basic stopwatch, nice and straightforward. And then you're into your watch settings. And that's pretty straightforward, just allows you to set up the time uh, if you keep on scrolling down, paired with your mobile, and you can reset it if you want to as well. You can also change the actual main display as well, so as you can see here you can get the actual date up and the day instead of your, uh, your general skin temperature, if that's more interesting to you. You can also turn on a backlight by holding down the top button. It's not much of a backlight unfortunately, as you can see there, it's just a, a tiny little light over on this side here, it barely illuminates the screen. Um, so not the best, but at least at, at night time it will just about do the job. And you can also power down, uh, make the watch hibernate just by holding down the bottom button. As you can see, it's now in sleeping mode, so it won't actually bother to track any of your uh, steps or anything like that in that mode, uh, just to save on a bit of power. And if you press it down again, then it will wake back up. And that in a nutshell right there is the Matrix Power Watch X. As you can see, quite streamlined compared with your standard fitness trackers. Uh, definitely quite good if you're out and about a lot, lead quite an active lifestyle. It definitely seems pretty rugged so far. And obviously the fact that it charges itself up means you don't have to worry about plugging it in every night. So that's not what you think down in the comments below. And thanks for watching everyone. As ever, love you, bye.